Today we're opening a graded Yu-Gi-Oh mystery box. What's up guys, we're back with another mystery box opening and this is a custom mystery box made by a viewer. He sent it to me, supposedly it has graded cards in it. We have a note here, let's check it out before we hop into it. All right, the note is pretty long, so I'm gonna skim through it. Dear Ruxin, I hope this package finds you well. At the time of writing this, it has been almost a year when I first found one of your videos and have been a fan ever since. Thank you very much. A year of fandom, pretty awesome. The channel's been around over five years now, which is insane. Really about three years of doing the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff though, or at least the, the card opening. So pretty insane how long it's been. My favorite videos are the ones where you open custom packs and items. Well, that's what we have today. So good stuff coming. The creative ways people have come up with make their own custom items never fails to amaze me. Yeah, it's always fun to open the custom stuff because you know, the, the original stuff and like, the uh, Konami official stuff is always really fun to open as well. But like seeing the custom stuff people come up with is pretty like unique and exciting. Second of those videos are the ones where you either send cards to be graded or back said graded cards. Exactly. Yeah, me too. Those videos even inspired me to send some of my own cards to get graded. Very awesome. While waiting for my first batch to get graded, I had a peanut butter and chocolate moment. I'm not sure what that means, but that's a reference to something. Why not combine my two favorite videos and make my own custom Yu-Gi-Oh product, which included PSA graded cards. So after months of work, revisions, eBay hunting, and more waiting, PSA backlog, I finally have my finished product ready. So let's see. It looks like it's gonna be a combination of the two of those things. This is called Cherry's Harvest, custom Yu-Gi-Oh creation that offers three PSA graded cards plus 30 loose cards. Guaranteed at least one PSA eight or better over one in 10 chance to grade a 10. Okay, not too bad. Each 10 30 cards contains a mix of commons, rare, super rares, ultimates, and secret rare, usually with a common theme that matches the PSA cards. List of Chase graded cards are on the next page. Okay, so we're not gonna go too crazy. I know he said he's giving away one and we're opening one, but I'm not gonna open, read all of this because it is it's pretty long. But thanks again. I think he said something. He put some Star Wars cards in here as well. I pre-read this thing just to make sure I didn't miss anything, but we're gonna check out what's actually in the box on this other page. And this is from EO Cherry. That's his name, or I guess that's his business. I don't know, something like that. All right, Chase cards that we have in here. We have First Editions, Elemental Hero Tempest, Grade 10. That'd be amazing. Toon Summon Skull, Grade 9. I don't, I don't know if these first edition are unlimited. Element Zero Phoenix Enforcer and Nine, Luster Dragon Seven, Ghost Rare Naturia Barkion, Grade Eight, Promo Sin Singenjin, the WCS card Nine. We got a Yujo Friendship Eight, Black Rose Dragon Nine, Dark Magician Nine, Deliquid Duo, BLS on the Beginning Nine, Air Neos. That's pretty cool. Not we got an Eight there. We got an Eight Paladin, Eight Paladin. Those are two different ones. DR One and MFC. I'm assuming those are unlimited. I'm guessing most of this is unlimited stuff. Uh, Snatch Steel and Genzo. It doesn't actually spe like specify, so it's probably unlimited. Oh, and I, f I forgot to mention he is selling some of these. November 15th, so I'm a little late. I don't know if he sold all of them or not on his eBay store under K-O-W-E-O-C. So go check that out if you guys want to like buy some if they're still available. Also, my eye is still yellow. It's been a week, so I don't know. It's just going to be like that for a while, I guess. <laughs> and he is going to be, as I mentioned before, giving away one of these boxes. So here's the giveaway. A box for you guys. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed. Let me know what you think about these mystery boxes. I guess you call them mystery boxes? Yeah, because they're graded cards, packs, or not packs, loose cards, whatever. So let me know what you think about them and enter the giveaway. Let's see what I got. All right, here's the Ruxin box. Let's see if I can get this out. All right, there's Ruxin box. There it says right there, Ruxin's box. There were also these cards. I don't know if these are the loose cards or if they're in here. I feel like these are not the loose cards. I don't know which these are exactly. Let's see. We have, are these just random cards? Uh, these are OCG Japanese cards. Let's see what's in here. Okay, we've got more foreign cards. We got SKE Spanish. I don't know if I've ever even seen that. Okay, we've got the uh, intervening light or whatever it's called. Uh, these are all what? These are all foreign cards, it seems like. Let's see. Are these just random or are these part of the... This, this is more than 30 cards, so I don't know. Here's more Spanish that just has the same name. Also has the same name. Tomato Mystico. Very nice. We got the... the oh, the Jeanette Mystico. Very nice. All right. So a bunch of foreign cards. Oh, more hollows. Okay, so are these the... I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, Ancient Sanctuary. Super rare. Look, more... Spanish Ancient Sanctuary. What's up with that? We had that the other day and when we opened those up from Dr. Chickens. Now we have more Spanish Ancient Sanctuary. I was like, but man, I haven't seen these. Now I've seen more. We've got, is this Spanish Soul of the Duelist? What in the world? Aqua Neos, is that the silver stamp? Yeah, this is the UDE counterfeit version, I believe. So there's that. We've got the Dreadmaster, also a UDE counterfeit version, which is pretty cool. And then he sent us all the counterfeit hollows, except Water Dragon. I think Water Dragon's one. So these are all the UDE counterfeits. 
Why are these in here? Did I miss something on the note? I did miss it. He said that he threw those in, the Upper Deck promos, which is actually pretty cool. Maybe if I ever do another Upper Deck video, now I have like three out of the four. I just need the Water Dragon now for like, you know, display purposes to show what you guys, you know, need to look out for if you're looking for the legit ones and stuff. So if anybody has the Water Dragon, hit me up. That'd be great. I would love to have that just because, uh, you know, I, I could compare it to the real ones it's good for the future so thanks for that that's actually pretty nice I'm, i appreciate that for sure and then the spanish cards are really cool all right let's see what's in our okay this mystery box very cool looking actually like i don't know exactly what's going on it feels like i'm uh this is not a, this, this I, was, I was gonna say it feels like i'm like reading like a uh, like a children's book that's what it feels like with the artwork that's not an i'm not trying to insult it but do you, you feel the same thing it's like you got the the forest thing you got the little character guy it just feels like that but i guess that's like his branding or something pretty cool three psa graded cards and 30 bonus cards uh cherry's harvest let's see oh no we almost spoiled something wait we gotta go like this and then here are the loose cards so okay this is actually extremely nice packaging. Like, he put in a ton of work for this. It also feels like a pencil box or something, you know? It's got, like, you'd have your colored pencils in there or something like that. I don't know. That's just what I think of. Here we go. Let's see what our 30 cards are. So he said, you know, a bunch of different rarities can be in here. So I'm not sure what to expect. But let's see. We have a lightning blade. I'm sure condition could, could vary. We've got the comrade. Swordsman of Landstar. Very nice. Giffrey, the Iron Knight. So here are our commons. Guilty of the D-Knight. That's a Metal Raiders. Common, which is pretty cool. We've got a copycat, Stabbing Destruction. We got a Rux and Special of the regular Swordsman of Landstar. So he said there's going to be sort of a theme, I think. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. So far, we've got Dragon, Warrior, Warrior, Warrior. We've got two Swords and a Landstar. That's all I've seen so far. We do have another Dragon. That's a thousand Dragon. Joey Wheeler. That's what I'm sticking with right now. Joey Wheeler, right? Got to be Joey. Flame Swordsman. All right, I feel like I'm on the right track. Nice. Red Eyes Burn. I, we're going to get a Red Eyes card. Was there a Red Eyes available? Red Eyes Transmigration. I don't know if that list had all the cards or just like the chase cards. Red Eyes Retro Dragon. Kunai with Chain. What is this? Yeah, I'm definitely nailing this. This is definitely going to be a Joey box. Roulette Spider. Black Skull Dragon. Not B Skull. Black Skull. We got the Black Dragon Chick, not the B Dragon. Red Eyes Insight. Pretty cool. Bring me back to Duel Links. Red Eyes Fusion. Are we going to get a Dragoon? Maybe a graded uh, OCG Dragoon, because I can see one of the cards is an OCG card. Legendary Fisherman, Reinforcement of the Army. What else could be inside? Uh-oh, here are our foils. Oh, wow. Wait, this is Weevil. Interesting. Parasite, Parasite. This is not Joey. This is Weevil. This also looks pretty clean, actually. Okay, never mind. The back's not great. We got the Grave Robber, also pretty nice. That looks pretty good. We got a Metal Morph. Okay, another foil. There's a lot of foils in here. Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. Red Eyes Wyvern. So definitely a lot of Red Eyes. So Joey and Red Eyes is what we're seeing. Question. Your question is, what will it be inside? Question's pretty cool. Got a little stuff there. Paladin of Dark Dragon. Pretty cool. We've got an Inferno Fire Blast. I've always loved this card from Soul of the Duel. So I think it's really cool. I don't actually know the price point of this box, to be honest. I assume that it's kind of expensive because we're getting like fairly nice foils and three graded cards. So I expect it to be something. And then Red Eyes Black Dragon. So not going to lie, those were not junk cards. Like there were some decent cards in there. Those are not like 30 random cards you get in MJ Holding Mystery Product. Like they're a lot better than that. Um, of course, they're not like, you know, you look at the side, you can tell some of these are used and stuff. So they're not like mint or whatever. But Still pretty cool variety, some nice hollows. Now we get into the main stuff of the mystery box. We got three cards here. We've got ourselves what appears to be pretty scratched up. Is that the case? Is that the case or the bag of cards? That's gotta be the case. This thing is absolutely destroyed. I've never seen a case that scratched up. That is insane. So I don't know if we're supposed to end with that one. I'm gonna start with this one. No, this is OCG. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with this one, even though it was at the back. Actually, back probably means we probably need to end with it. I'm gonna start with this one. This is an English card. From what I can tell, let's see if we can guess corners on the back look nice i mean this looks like a minty card i think this is a newer card i think this is a newer card let's see let's cover up the grade yeah it is a newer card so it's from the uh what was this from again where they had the the colored ones legendary duelist season two or something like that okay so it is red eyes i was right red eyes um flare metal dragon purple let's see what the grade is so it got a nine. Okay, pretty cool. I think this card is pretty cheap raw. I doubt there's very many of these even graded. So I don't know what we would value this at, but we can put like the raw price and then maybe I'll have a guess of what the, the graded price would be. So I think the raw price is only like a dollar or something. So this is not like a huge card or anything. I definitely really like this artwork though. And I like the original version from like Core. We pulled that Seeker Rare and that error pack. That was insane. All right, we got two more. Let's see if we can guess. These are both OCG. Oh wait, no, I keep looking at the same card. Wait, yeah, okay. We got, this is not OCG. The back of this one wow what is happening is this the case or is it the card these are really crazy okay that other one was clean but that was a really new card corners are really sharp i feel like it's on the case let's see red eyes b dragon legendary collection 01 so yeah 
We're, I mean, we're talking a cheap card here. This is probably 50 cents, so we're not looking at a crazy value. I don't know how to compare this, because I don't know how much a mystery box costs. Probably should have looked that up, but not a crazy card here. I mean, you get this out of every Legendary Collection 01. Uh, you guys remember when we opened those mystery boxes from Walmart, and they just had these and, like, the other five cards that came in the promo. So let's see if we got the 10. Okay, so it's at 9. So I, it's got to be on the case. Why are these cases so grimy? I don't know what's going on. I think it's just the case. Yeah, so we can clean that off but okay we got a red eyes nothing too crazy on those but i think those were the first two let's see what the final boss is here that we're really looking at this thing is absolutely scratched up it is insane i'm guessing it's a like a dragoon or something like that that's my guess and it's gonna be like an ocg cool rarity or something let's see no it's a meteor b dragon this is, okay this is actually pretty dope meteor b dragon i think is what it's called no meteor b dragon is what this makes this is just meteor dragon or something like that or is it the other one. I can't remember. I think this is just Meteor Dragon. And then it becomes Meteor B Dragon. I really like the foiling. Though. Look how glossy it is. This is out of P3. I think that's Premium Pack 3, maybe, out of the OCG. Pretty cool. I mean, the rarity is really nice. Let's see if we got a nice grade. It's an 8. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, unfortunately, this is uh, really beat up. But still, this is actually pretty cool. I like OCG stuff because I'm not super familiar with it. I haven't been around it too much. So I don't. I have no idea on the price of this one. But this is actually a pretty dope-looking card. That, like nobody ever really used because the card actually sucks you know it's like a six star or whatever but really really nice looking i do like that card i think that's pretty sick okay and he also sent us one other thing this is not including the mystery box he just said he sent this to me because he knew that i like star wars so apparently these are open packs we're gonna go through some of these so the star wars customizable card game so ccg let's see wait are these opened wait are they open or not okay he said these were opened already but this doesn't seem open to me i'm just gonna open it I don't know what's going on. I mean, did he like reseal them or something? I don't know. I really don't know. Let's just open them up and see what we get. These are really old school. Baru Lars and Baru. There she is. We got special modification. They stopped making these in 2001. So they literally stopped the year before Yu-Gi-Oh started in the US. So that's kind of insane. So it's kind of like a handoff. Special modifications. We've got, what is this on here? Oh, we've got a, uh, is that a TIE pilot? Okay, cool. We've got Ellis Hellrot. Who is this guy? Is that in the bar in episode four? I don't remember that guy. Okay, cool. We've got a red three. There it is. Red three standing by. We got old Ben. Very nice. What is this? We've got, okay, there's a lot of packs here, so we probably won't go through all of these, but this is, what, what, which way am I supposed to look at it? They're both upside down. I guess you can read it either way. So I guess maybe it's like a card you put in the middle. It's like a field center or something. Uh, so you can see it either way. The docking bay. All right. We've got a narrow escape. Pretty nice cz3 okay some random star wars people so if you're a super star wars nerd you probably know these guys blaster rifle nice we've got ourselves another one of these weird ones jundlin waste okay on tatooine we've got a Takiel. all right some other more random guys tie fighter awesome talon roll talon roll is that like a move or something it's a maneuver of a starfighter cool and then the macro scan. All right, so you're looking around on Hoth. Wait, no, this is not Hoth. This is Tatooine. Sorry. Yeah, let's not get carried away there. Was this pack actually opened? I'm so confused. This says they are open, but I literally don't see it. Like, I mean, I can open them. They open pretty easily, so I don't. I really don't know. I don't know if these were open before or not. I'm just going to... What's the rarities on these things? Is there rarities, or are they just all the same? There's got to be, like, rares and stuff. Captain Kurji, we've got... This is some rescue. What are you trying to push on us? Yeah, we got the fake R2. Let's check the cards. Do they look like they've been opened? No, they look minty. We got Sabotage. This is a classic case of the reseal where I get fooled. Death Star Tractor Beam. Okay, pretty nice. I mean, all these cards look minty, like brand new. We got the blue milk. Oh, no, not the blue milk. Sorry, Luke. Don't drink it, man. Quite a mercenary. A Rebel Tech. We've got Jawa Ion Gun. Corellians. Add it again. We've got the Thai Vanguard. Ooh, that's pretty cool. The R2Q2. R2Q2. Oh, it's telling you how to tells you how to pronounce it. Okay, weird. Imperial Squad Leader. All right. Uh, these are your droids. We've got the Gik. Very nice. And a Swilla Cory. Okay, I don't know who that is either, but Cory, these all appear to be like really nice. So I feel like these packs are not open, to be honest. Okay, we're not going to do a huge Star Wars opening, but maybe in like a Twitch stream or some other stream, I'll open all these up because it they look sealed to me. I don't know. He's going to have to let me know after this if they're actually like resealed by him or something because they seem 
They seem unopened. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that mystery box opening. If you did, make sure to let me know down below. It was a lot of fun to open up. I love to open up these graded mystery boxes people make and other stuff like that. So we'll have to check out more in the future. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Miss Cycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, An Unatized Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.